Hey YouTube, this is Quaker from Next Gen Windows, and today's app review is the People Hub or People app, People Tile for Windows 8. Uh, as you can see, this is the live tile of it right here. It shows people when you hover over it, it's showing. When you go into it, this is exactly how it looks like. Your contacts are lifted in a long view, similar to how Windows 8 likes it. And it shows your social right here, which is all your social networks, your me, uh, your notifications currently have five unread. What's new on whatever you're logged into? So, for instance, I am logged into Facebook and Twitter, and then some of the things that you've liked, the pages that you've liked. Uh, these are all your contacts right here in one place. Uh, I'm not sure what this back. Oh, it goes back to what's new when you hit back, and then when you hit back again, it goes back to the People Hub. So this is this is essentially what the people hub is if you right click on your mouse for people using non-touch screens or just using a mouse uh, you can show the home which goes back to this screen you can show you know your online status so you can view people who are only online or who are only you know who's everywhere you can uh, add new contacts which I'll actually just show right now see this is the new contacts and you can you can show pretty much everything you need uh, if you click your your picture itself you can view all of the you know the things that you associated with it notifications photos and all of the other stuff you see five new unread and you see when they were on when they were read or when they were uh, when you were notified of them uh, you can see your current status uh, you can view profile more details you can see you know more details under your Facebook or Twitter profile you just click view profile it views your card your contact card of yourself and if you hit uh, what's new obviously it goes to what's new and it shows you know everything here uh, of what's new it just tells you everything that's new now there isn't much to the people hub uh, it's just right clicking to go back home which we already back on the home page you can just right click again to go to online only or set your online status uh, for your contacts and you can add new contacts as I said before um, and also if you want to search for contacts when you go to the charms bar if you want to know how to use the charms bar visit my other video on how to use the charms bar and then you can hit search when you hit search, you'll notice the People Hub is actually selected already. See down here, it's already selected. So then when you click on it, you can search for any name. You can search for yourself. And then when you hit enter, it has no results because I didn't add myself to my contacts list. But in general, it would show whatever contact you showed, you searched for. Um, People Hub, there's not that much to it. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, you can't really mess up using the People Hub. It's simple, like Microsoft's trying to get their, to get their point of point across with for Windows 8, uh, straight across. Um, this has been Kwaku from NextGen Windows. If you have any more questions or suggestions on an app that I should review next, leave a comment below and give this a thumbs up. I'll catch you later. Peace.